My name is Catherine, and I'm here today to help you make your What's Up puppet come alive. Here he is. Now, maybe if he's been just sleeping for a long time, you may want to get, just get a regular hair brush. Just kind of hold him a little bit. Just give him a nice little brushing. You know, so he's all spiffy. Comb his beard down. Because he is a walrus after all. Okay. And once he's all ready f to go on the show, all you have to do is there is a hole at the bottom of, of Whitson. Put your hand up there. And you'll feel a pad at the top of his head. Now, when you feel that, your hand actually goes underneath that pad so that your hand is actually right against his mouth and that your thumb is going to be right underneath his tongue. So that opens and closes his mouth. So I'll show you that uh, without the pad. Your hand is underneath the pad, right into the mouth area, and your thumb is right underneath the tongue, so that your hand is opening and closing his mouth. Just like that. Now that you have wits up on, I want to make sure that your arm is nice and straight, and that he's tucked close to your body. With your other hand, just put that right underneath your elbow. And then he looks like he's just sitting there. You can also, if you like, um, take your other hand at some point and he can wave. Just kind of go like that. And you can say hi all. Um, you can animate him um, fairly easily with just a, a few simple little moves. Um, you can make him play shy. So all you're doing is just tucking your hand right underneath your chin on the same side that he's on, not over here, on this side. Then he can peek out. Hello. And come back in. And come back out. Now you can also turn your hand like that inside your witsit. And then he's, he's peeking out over your shoulder like that. You can also make him play curious by just tipping your hand back and forth and back and forth. Now sometimes may, you maybe want to come into the room with your wits, with wits up and maybe he's hiding a little bit because he's shy. Uh, what you can do to make him look more alive is that inside your puppet just turn your hand like this, turn your wrist just like that and then at the same time give him a pet. Okay so now he looks like he's just kind of snuggling and nestling into your under your chin and stuff. And then just gradually bring your, your hand back down to your elbow and he can turn out. And then he can say hi to all the kids. Hi! So if you have a WhatsApp that has an insert and you want to make him so that he can sit up, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is that get one of these clips and that's going to go in his mouth to help keep his mouth closed while he's sitting. This is his mouth. Your hand is up inside Witsip, and you can just clamp his mouth, just like that. Okay, so that'll hold his mouth closed. Okay, so I'm going to do that right now. My clip, my hand goes up inside, close his mouth. There. So now his mouth is closed. Okay, so now you have, if you have an insert, just open him up. Now, obviously, this, the brown sob zone goes on the bottom. <laughs> and just insert all the way up. To the mouth area, almost. You might have to fiddle with it a little bit just to get him to sit. So now that your insert is, is in, you can, he's ready to sit down. So you just sit like that, and if he's a little tippy, you might have to work him just a little bit. Get his arms and just kind of place his arms, you know, kind of on the knee close to the end there. That braces him so that he doesn't tip forward. And there you have him. He's just sitting up nice for you. So those are just a few of your basic moves. Remember, hold him close your hand underneath your elbow, 
use your imagination and have fun